What's up guys, CB Mod here back with another video and the Dell XPS 15 is one of my favorite laptops out there, if not the favorite laptop I've ever used of all time, offering a really boss performance with a design that stands out from a lot of other laptops without standing out in the wrong ways. But there is definitely an issue with this particular laptop and that issue is now with the battery. So about two months or so ago, I actually noticed some stiffness in the trackpad. Now, at the time I was in the middle of exams and I didn't really think too much of it and just sort of kept using the laptop and thought maybe it got bumped or something like that along the way. At the end of the year when exams were over, I went ahead and actually started looking into this particular issue and I did this live stream where we went ahead and actually tried to fix the trackpad or at the time I thought was what was wrong with the trackpad. Now the symptoms that I was actually having was the trackpad was lifted out of its socket and about 20 minutes into actually using the computer you could not click at all the trackpad was so stiff you just could not click even if you were to stand up and put all your weight on your fingers to click that trackpad it would not have actually clicked. When I opened it up in the live stream, I discovered a shocking find, and that was the battery was absolutely shot. Now it appears that the Dell battery unit has actually started expanding, causing pressure on the trackpad and thus lifting it up out of its socket. As any Dell that has the sort of unibody all-in-one carbon fiber design actually uses the um, battery as resistance against the trackpad. So a lot of other manufacturers might use some sort of small mechanism to actually give you that uh, clicking resistance when you do click down on a trackpad, whereas on the Dell computers, that resistance is provided by the battery pack, and unfortunately, as the battery pack has started to fail, that means the clicking resistance also too has started to fail on the laptop, and it does get worse than this at the moment. Now, if we take a closer look at the battery itself, which we'll do in just a moment, we can see there's quite a bit of damage here. However, flipping over to the inside of the laptop, not only is my trackpad now damaged but also to the screen itself as it unfortunately when my laptop was shut the battery decided to expand and almost explode thus lifting up the trackpad into the screen and now leaving a mark on the top of my screen it's really hard to see in person only ever catch it occasionally when the light hits it on the exact right angle and probably won't even be able to see it in the camera so probably won't even bother doing any b-roll shots of it but Unfortunately, my screen has been damaged by the trackpad, which has been damaged by the battery on the other side of it. Now, when I do say that the trackpad is damaged, it still tracks just fine. It still clicks when the battery is cold and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it isn't exactly, ex well, how you want it. There's a gap up the top and things aren't really looking the greatest for my trackpad unit. Now, thankfully enough for me, or I guess not really thankfully enough for Dell XPS 15 laptops in general, this appears to be quite a well-known issue with people all around the world and also to all around the internet reporting the exact same problems, exact same damage and even worse damage in some cases to their 9550 laptops, which is what I have here, and also to the newer generation 9560 and I guess also two newer generations after that that also two featured the same design and same manufactured batteries. Now the battery itself as I did mention is completely shot. Windows and Linux to that matter also to all report about three to four hours worth of usage but they die like that within 15 minutes. It just doesn't hold the charge, some sort of safety takes over and the laptop completely shuts down. When I do power the laptop back up, if I haven't charged it, it says critical battery level and then cuts out. It doesn't even finish its critical battery level warning, it just completely cuts out. So I did exactly what any other DIY person would do, ripped the bottom of the laptop live on the internet and discovered the exploded cell. So we can kind of see I think in this shot, but each cell is clearly visible you can see the outline of it on the actual battery itself I'll do some close-up b-roll shots but usually when you have a battery like this you want a clean and tight surface but this is loose it is kind of all over the place and the materials are not in the good condition you can see exactly where each cell is and exactly where each cell has expanded if today was a boiling hot day or I'd been using this computer pretty intensely you would see in all the b-roll shots the battery going from well a rectangle to an oval, it is really just that bad. In fact, it got so bad that I actually had to loosen all the screws around the edges so I can let it expand. Otherwise, the screws started to bend a little bit, all the heads did, and also to the bottom panel on the laptop started to also to slightly bend. Thankfully, I caught that one and actually took off the panel so it wouldn't get any more damage, but 
overall it really isn't exactly looking that great. Now for me, apparently I'm pretty lucky as I've seen reports all over the internet of people getting completely bent uh, bottom panels, I've seen palm rests that are actually cracked in half because of the uh, well, uh, carbon fiber in here that's supposedly really strong got cracked by the actual battery. I've seen batteries being punctured. It has really gone downhill for this particular laptop. So I guess, well, what's next? I've identified that the battery is shot. This is not just related to me. What on earth should be happening next? Well, I jumped on the phone with Dell's XPS uh, customer support early this morning and actually it was really, really surprising. I was really expecting Dell just to say, well, you're out of warranty, see you later but the technician I talked to actually said that this was a very well-known issue and a lot of Dell laptops are being affected by this and they're actually working with affected customers to get this fixed no matter what their warranty status is and my warranty on this laptop ran out two years ago and technically speaking the day I bought it because I opened it the day I bought it but this laptop has been out of warranty officially for over a year now and they've been more than happy to not only organize a technician to come out and assess the computer, but they've also to organize a new battery, a new trackpad, a new palm rest for the entire laptop, a new bottom panel, and potentially a new screen for the computer. I don't have to ship the computer anywhere. I don't have to send it off. Someone is apparently coming out to this house to go ahead and carry out the replacements right here. And I have to say, that was really shocking. I was super surprised to find out that indeed that they one acknowledged that this was a problem and two that they were so willing to send someone out to actually fix the computer that was very very surprising to see my only complaint with Dell's customer support was their microphones were so low I could not hear uh, basically anything that they were saying a lot of the time um, yeah it wasn't really the greatest thing and trying to read out service tags when you can't exactly hear the person on the other side you definitely have to be on top of your phonetic alphabet but Overall, I, I was really shocked to see just how helpful Dell was, as I've seen plenty of horror stories in the past where people having issues with their batteries or their laptops in general, and the company is just saying, well, it's out of warranty and that's your problem. So. I've been really impressed with how Dell has been handling this situation. But then that brings us to right now and at the moment here recording this video. Now, as I'm aware, Dell is definitely aware of this issue and they're sending out technicians, no matter where you are apparently in the world, to go ahead and help you fix this issue. And they're apparently replacing 90% of my laptop in terms of the actual externals, which I'm gonna have to say I'm not too upset about. Even though the palm rest isn't damaged, they're like, nah, we'll replace it, which has to be well over $500 worth of parts and also to hundreds of dollars in labor to actually get this kind of thing done. So I'm pretty impressed to see that Dell is actually that supportive of what is about a two, almost three year old laptop with warranty that's been out for quite some time. I'm a little bit disappointed though because I've spent the past two years studying IT. I've worked in numerous IT repair jobs and I'm still unable to actually repair my own battery. That's kind of a disappointment, but hey, getting 90% new uh, computer, not going to complain about that. Now also too, the technician that I did say uh, speak to on the Dell uh, support did say that this battery has been 100% compromised and I should not be using it. You may notice that's why the uh, power connector is, well, disconnected. I was also too told not to touch or poke the battery because apparently it's compromised and will explode. Yeah, anyway, um, but either way, if you are experiencing this, do be careful with the battery. Uh, that is what I have been told. So I guess TLDR and what you should take away from this video. The Dell XPS 9550 and 9560 and really any Dell XPS 15 laptop that is in this form factor with this type of battery cell has been affected by this design flaw. No one's exactly sure which person's at fault, whether it's Dell's design or it's the actual battery manufacturer, but either way, Dell at the time of recording anyway, is definitely working with everyone to get this problem resolved. Here in Australia anyway, I've been really lucky enough to have a technician organized. They're going to be probably giving me a call in the next day or two to actually book in a time to have 90% of the actual laptop replaced. They're organizing replacements and disposal of this battery and they are saying that these batteries are compromised and can potentially explode if they're poked and prodded and moved around too much. So if you do have an affected laptop, please be careful with it. Disconnect the battery or if you don't really want to open up the computer at all, 
put it in a steel box so it won't burn down your house. But again, Dell does recommend to stop using the system and to contact them directly to get some support there. All in all, again, I'm very surprised and very happy to see that Dell has been this helpful in the whole claim process, and I'm really happy to see that the laptop is on its way to get repaired. I'm still a little bit disappointed that this all happened in the first place, and from my understanding, this is not affecting the 13-inch model, so if you do have a 13, uh, apparently you're fine, but do keep an eye on it either way. Um, but yeah, that is sort of the Dell XPS exploding battery problem. There's been no reports yet of an actual explosion with fire and stuff going everywhere, but these things are very, very close. And if you're not careful, we could turn into another Note 7 issue. So with that being said, guys, I'll leave some links down below and I'll also to update you once this whole laptop gets repaired, apparently it's going to be fully replaced or something like that. Either way, I'll let you know in a future video. Let me know though down in that comment section some horror stories you may have had with like warranty support or your laptop. There's definitely a lot out there, but uh, do let me know some of your horror stories. Again, if you are a Dell XPS owner and do think you may be suffering this issue, please get in contact with Dell because these things can be very, very dangerous. I'll leave all the links that you need down below in that description box. Uh, because these things are affected and can be very, very dangerous. Again, thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.